Victor Davis Hansen is a senior fellow at the Hoover Institution. We're always happy to have him join us. Professor, thanks so much for coming on. This is an about face. What do you make of it? Well, it's not because, Tucker, they found a new agenda, this new socialist agenda that was so popular. I think what happened is the first thing, they, the Democratic Party became wealthy. That bi-coastal elite right. through globalization got these global markets, and you have a whole professional class that's not subject to any ramifications of these utopian ideas, whether it's climate change or defund the police, and never boomerangs back on them. And then they, they said, well, we don't have the people, but we have the institutions, corporate boardrooms, Wall Street. Silicon Valley, K through 12 academia. So we can influence opinion without having a majority of opinion. And then of course, they changed the demography. We've had about 40 million people come in the last 40 years. And right now we have 50 million American residents that were not born in the United States. And they feel that the majority of them will be loyal to the Democratic Party that invited them in. And still it's not enough. Still that they're looking at a disaster uh, in November. So now they're saying, well, you know what, in good Jacobin or Bolshevik fashion, we've got to re-educate young people, get them while they're young, indoctrinate them. Or they're, and, and so they're trying to do that, and they want to change the system. They're saying, well, if we can't indoctrinate them, maybe we can get rid of the filibuster, or get rid of the electoral college, or pack the court, or have a national voting law. But all of this has a common denominator. And that is they are the party of the elite now. They're the party of the wealthy, the party that despises the middle class, and they seek power for an agenda that nobody wants. And they have to have these crises to do it, January 6th or the Ukrainian war. Whatever the thing is, they use these levers of influence and power. And it's still, I don't think it's going to be enough. I think they're, they're looking at a landslide of rejection in November. And I think that Elon Musk is a precursor. So is the C-SPAN uh, implosion. So is the Disney implosion. So is the Netflix implosion. So is the Virginia election implosion. A lot of indicators, a lot of symptoms that they have a reckoning that's terrifying them. Well, and just in three sentences, do, do you believe that the coming midterms will discredit not just the players, but their ideas as well? Yeah, I think it is because you see it's not just political. People, as you say, they're not really interested just in the issues. It's existential. They can't find food that they can afford. They can't fill up their car. They don't feel safe when they go into a big city. They don't feel their kids are being educated or they're, or they're being propagandized. So it's a 360, 24-7 phenomenon. It's a totalitarian effort. And you, you can see the pushback in social media. You can see it was grassroots school board. It's not just political. They feel their very lives are at stake. It's not going to be sustainable if these people are in control any longer because they don't care. Joe Biden doesn't care about the, the price of gas. Elizabeth Warren doesn't care if people can't afford, you know, plywood at the lumber store. They don't care. Yeah. They're, they're revolutionaries. They're ideologues. Again, they'd rather be wrong. Uh, and they'd rather lose and be right than be wrong and win. That's how ideological they are. I think you're right. I think that's a really insightful observation. Victor Davis Hanson, thank you very much. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.